Hi guys, Sandra Lemming from Brisbane, Australia here, um, and I'm inside of the Digital Business Lounge, the DBL. Okay, so you've come into the DBL as an SFM member, and you've installed your SFM Authority site, which is what we're looking at here. Now, I haven't done too much with this. It's still the basic site. When you install the SFM Authority site, it comes with all this populated stuff on it. All the banners have your affiliate links in them and so forth. And you have um, pages that you have to build, like your blog page. You'll need to put some blogs on there. You'll need to populate that. Your About Me page, you'll need to populate that. And then you've got all these other pages that are already populated with things with affiliate links in them for you. So you don't have to do much there. And this is a page that I've added. Okay, uh, yeah, and, and I designed my own little banner to go on the top left hand corner. But I'm just going to show you a very basic, simple tip because a lot of people come to WordPress, um, they, they start to get frustrated, they tell themselves they don't understand it, and they're not sure what they're doing. Okay, now as you can see, I've got my tabs showing in this video because we're going to need some of those tabs, and it just makes it easier if you've got some tabs open that you're going to need. Um, it saves you having to, you know, reopen tabs and log in and all of that sort of stuff. Okay, so so as you can see, SFM Authority site. Now I'm going to go into the dashboard of the SFM Authority site because that's where we want to be. Now this is very basic, and a lot of you will know what I'm talking about here uh, when I show you this. But for for those of you who don't, this may demystify uh, something, and you will probably slap yourself on the side of the head and you'll probably say to yourself oh my goodness that was so simple okay now over here if you scroll over here where it says howdy admin that's my username you've got some choices here okay if you click on edit my profile it will go over to an area where you can edit your profile Okay, now this may look confusing, but it's not that confusing, okay? Now, some people like things to be visually nice, visually stimulating, you know, whatever. So, so here you can change your admin colors. At the moment, I'm on the default. And these admin colors are just basically the way these show down here, the colors. So if I was to change that, and let's pick sunrise because it's extremely different, okay? And I was to, yep, there you go. See, it will change the color of your your user panel okay so if you don't like the default you can pick another color scheme okay me personally I don't mind the default so we will just go with the default okay now if you scroll down a little bit further on this page this profile page you'll come to this section here okay and if you've just first you know if you're just new you've just loaded the site up and you haven't done much with it you know, it's probably going to look very similar to this. You'll have your username that you chose for logging into the site. And you'll have some empty boxes here and, and it'll have a, a generic um, nickname for you and a generic display name. Now that display name will be what shows at the bottom of each blog post that you put up. Okay, so when they're saying display name publicly, that's the author's name, the name they're going to put at the bottom of your blog post. Now, what I like to do here is because you know, because Google has spiders and and they go out to all sites and they, um, you know, they, they they collect data, they crawl your site and that sort of stuff. I like to fill out as much of this information as I can in the back end of these sites, and I like to keep it congruent. So it doesn't matter if I have five, six, seven sites with different .com names or different .net names or .org names or whatever. I like to keep the information in the back end here fairly congruent. It makes it easier for me and easier for everything else concerned in the future. So we're going here and I'm going to put my first name in here. I'm going to put my last name in here. Okay, now I don't like the admin name, my username being used as my nickname, so I'm going to change that and go with my generic standard nickname that I use. And the name that I display publicly, I don't want it to say admin, so I'm going to change that. And to, it, it, it can be simple. You can scroll down here, and as you can see, I've got some options. I have so many options because I have so many WordPress sites, and they're all sort of 
interconnected in one way, shape or form. Okay, so the name I want displayed publicly, I like to display my full name. That way if somebody has, you know, come across some of my material, material and they've read my material and they enjoy my material, they've got my full name. And if they want to do an internet search, that's great. So they can copy my full name, they can copy it, paste it into a search bar, do a search on me. What that does for my name is that, you know, that puts my name up in the Google search browser or the Windows, you know, search browser, Internet Explorer, whatever they're using. But whichever way they go, every time somebody searches my name, it's good for me. It gives me some brownie points, okay? And plus they can find my social media sites and my Facebook pages and anything else that is connected with my name. Now here, you can put whatever website you like. If I just start typing in it, then my generic standard website will actually come up and that's the website I like to have on all of my sites. Now, you know, this is not an actual blog website. It's an actual e-commerce store that I have where I sell some aloe vera based products. So I like, I like this. Well, it is a blog site, but I like this site to come up. Okay, because it can it takes them to my main store where they can get access to my products and find out about my products and find a little bit more about what I'm passionate about, which is aloe vera and helping people with their health um, and, and just feeling generally better and, you know, saving themselves a lot of the painkillers and things that they have to take in their life for, you know, whatever aches and pains they have. Okay, so then you have your Google Plus. Well, that's easy. You just go to Google Plus, which I have opened up here already. Okay, and you're viewing Google Plus as yourself. Okay, so you can copy this link in up here because this is the link you want. So you can right click. It usually works, but we'll highlight it and then we will right click and we will copy. Okay, now when you come to Google Plus, a little trick with Google Plus um, of your profile is it'll show you how many followers you have here and how many views there's been on your profile. And also with Google Plus, you can click on this down arrow here and you can view your own profile as a member of the public or another name. Okay, so if you wanted to view to see what the public see, you can click on this and it will change your profile and show you what the public see. And as you can see, that's loading, but I'm not going to stay on there. That's not the point of this video. Okay, so you go to here and you click and you paste the Google Plus in here. Okay, and here you can put a little bit of biographical information about yourself. You know, it's, uh, share a little biographical information to fill out your profile. This may be shown publicly. Now, you can do that. You may not want to do that. It's entirely up to you. Um, you know, you could say whatever you want. Keep it short. Um, and my page crashed out of Google, so we're just going to close that down. So it's just, you know, it's, it's basically whatever you want to put here you can about yourself. You, you, you can make it as big or as, as small as you want. You can, you know, um, put in whatever you like. Okay, and I'm not going to write it all because it's, you know, well, I'm going to end up rambling on here and, and that's going to take you forever. And this is also where you can change your password. Okay. Now... If you want to change your password for this one site, okay, this one WordPress site, this is where you will change it, okay? Your new password, you'll repeat your password, it will indicate to you whether it's strong or not. However, I don't need to change my password at this time. I don't fool around with the buttons that are already checked and ticked or anything that I don't understand. Uh, but for, you know, for all intensive purposes, um, this is, you know, this is the Six Figure Mentors Authority site. It's a child theme. We're on the Metro theme, and it's a child theme of Genesis. Uh, and these are your Genesis admin menus and, and different things. 
you can fool around with those if, if you know what they mean but uh, generally because the site's already pre-populated and virtually pre-built for you there's not too much that you'll need to play around with you can do stuff in here I'm not going to do stuff in there for you I basically just wanted to show you how to attach a site to yourself who you are uh, with a little bit of basic info how to get your Google Plus profile there and then you just keep scrolling down and you fill in all the boxes as as you wish you need be here you can choose your default you know layout for your themes you know I have the default one which is you know a banner across the top you know the main content sidebar is on the left the widget bar is on the right you can swap that around put your widget bar on the left and content bar on the right it's entirely up to you lots of people change it so you've got different things here you can you know go with just your single column it's entirely up to you now once you've done what you need to do in here okay you just update your profile you know and you may want to do your robots you know your robots meta and your meta keywords and things like that but I just wanted to show you basically where to go to change your color scheme and just add your few extra details and if you go to your WordPress 101 in Digital Business Lounge there's a lot of tutorial videos in there that will help walk you through different things on your site that you don't understand so before you go changing too much around to do with the main theme or to do with your site I would highly strongly suggest that you go back into your Digital Business Lounge you go into your menu you come down to your WordPress 101 and you start doing your WordPress um, 101 tutorial videos you know you've got everything from how to install it the dashboard posts and pages using the editor creating a post post formats everything you need is in here and I would suggest that that's what you do when you're first getting started if you're going to install WordPress onto your site here instead of the SFM authority site I would suggest and advise that you watch how to install WordPress and then go through your videos as needed or you can watch them all at once but the problem with watching them all at once is you're going to feel overwhelmed you're going to forget where where things were you're not going to quite understand them so what I suggest you do is you set up your WordPress you install your WordPress on your site first um, once you've followed that video and installed your WordPress then come across and have a look at the dashboard video have it playing in a separate tab and build your build your page build build your site with the assistance of these tutorial videos and you can move through onto each subject as needed instead of watching them all at once just move through them progress through them in an organized fashion and only watch each video as you need it pause it and actually do what you're seeing in the video so when you get to that step when you get to say posts and pages when you get to that step with your site go to your post and pages video click play and take action that you see in the video so you will have your posts and pages here you'll follow along the action steps in this video as you're building your site I suggest you do it this way because it is much easier for you to remember in the long run when you have combined both your theory and practical together so when you first start to build a site inside the digital business lounge use your WordPress 101 follow along with them and click on each video as you need to so you know when you get to creating a new post if you don't know how to create a new post click on this video have it playing watch the video and take action and create your post at the same time that way you've embedded the theory into your conscious level of the mind and you've also taken action and performed the physical task so you're in installing that lesson into what you're doing anyway I'm going to sign off now I hope this video has been helpful for you all have a great afternoon and I look forward to helping many of you more in the future take care bye